Okay, so uh, welcome. Uh, this is kind of a video that I've been putting off for no reason. And um, yeah, basically, uh, I'm just going to be doing a showcase of uh, the Outlast Mount Massive Asylum that I built uh, with Breadcracker here. And uh, he's not in this right now. I don't even think he knows that I'm doing this video. But I figured that I would just do a, uh, just like a chill old showcase of the map, kind of just tell you guys how, how we did some stuff, and uh, just kind of talk a little bit about it. But this is the spawn. Uh, I just loaded this map up for the first time in 1.16, and uh, textures are kind of broken on the, uh, on the chest here. But the, um, let's see, the, uh, sorry, sorry, resource pack uh, I made for 1.15. It's an edit of uh, Ozo pack, which is what I originally built the map uh, like six years ago, something like that. Yeah, right here. This is for, it's an edit of this pack right here. This right here is an edit of that. And I updated that to 1.15 and I changed a ton of the textures. Like this t floor right here is, is an edited texture. And, uh, like if you open up a, uh, this welcome, uh, this page is like the same texture from the actual Outlast game where you, whenever you read a note. And, uh, so here's a map of the entire game so we're like down here in the map and you just cross this bridge you come up and this is the entire asylum and I made uh, this landscape with world painter uh, I well we built the what happened was we built the asylum and then what I did was I dropped uh, so the asylum was like floating in the air and uh, what happened was I then dropped uh, world painter all around it and so I didn't want to mess with anything that I was building so I, I, I gave a good gap between uh, what we had built and what was world painted and then I took I used world edit to kind of create the landscape that you see around here and uh, yeah so I'm not gonna take the uh, mine cart because it's slower but you can just ride up here takes you up this hill goes right up here I'm also gonna be touring this in the daytime without shaders as I have in the previous videos because uh, I want good performance, and I want to uh, relax, and not worry about that. But anyway, yeah, you come up here, you got your little cart here, and uh, yeah, so these are some custom painting textures I did, as well as this. This is uh, the co locked computer screen texture. This right here is actually um, from something I didn't remove. It's it's left in here if I broken, shouldn't be in here. Uh, but what it was originally there for was uh, my old map where I didn't build the asylum in the correct uh, layout It was a chest that would contain like the first note of the game And I was planning to do a, an adventure map of the entire game, but that didn't end up happening and I just left it there So what happened was um, uh, How this map came to be was actually I think if we go over here. I'm actually just gonna turn my uh, render distance up because I can if we go over here like way over here, yeah. So this is the original asylum that I built. And uh, what we did was Breadcracker had his asylum, which had the correct layout, but it was uh, different in several areas than mine. And so what we did was uh, we took the design style of my asylum and we took uh, the outline of his asylum and uh, kind of combined them. His asylum was more was very empty inside. It didn't really have any interiors. So we took the interiors that I had already built and the design style of that and we put that on the inside of that asylum and did a ton of editing to make that work but yeah so this is the old asylum that I also forgot to remove before releasing the map so if you do download the map which uh, the link is in the description to the planet minecraft download uh, you will see that this asylum the original asylum uh, is still there most of it uh, I did break a lot of it because I had to copy it a lot of stuff from there up to here to this asylum. But yeah, you can see a lot of the uh, landscape here. A lot of this is custom. And I will go ahead and show you a secret area that Breadcracker did. Because there's like, he went around the map uh, and made a ton of like notes that you can find. And I won't read this. So if you download the map, you can come take a look at it yourself. It has a lot of uh, different lore and backstories to the game. But there's, I don't even know how many notes there are. There's a ton. Uh, he did all of them. I just kind of said, hey, you should do some notes, and he's like, yeah, cool, I'll do that. Uh, but yes, so uh, back to this. So we're back here at the front of the asylum, and uh, massive, massive improvement. Like, j even like this, 
this outside is identical almost to what was down there except um, we changed a ton of stuff interior and we also made the door double wide uh, it, was, it, was, it was originally only one wide and uh, we also had a parking lot here and some other stuff we also added oh another thing we did was uh, the rooms behind well, originally looked like this where you'd have black to make the window look black and then white to make the window look light and uh, I changed it so now when you look through the window you see an actual room in there I wanted to give the asylum more depth and more feeling and character and obviously you go in through here originally when I made it you stepped on a pressure plate that would uh, turn the light off like the light goes off in the game and uh, yeah here we are here also yeah so in in 1.15 uh, redstone looks kind of like uh, looks makes a cross again it used to just be a dot in 1.15 so that's not something else I should be showing this map in 1.15 I just didn't bother to uh, go back to 1.14 Optifine which is what I built this on uh, but yeah so this is you know this room right here we were considering making an animated uh, picture like a gift picture to have the TV going in there we got your Patrick Petrina small note if you uh, pay attention in to the in, in the game you'll know that's uh, kind of a Easter egg but we tried to have as much attention to detail as, as possible this is oh see a, a few of these textures are broken in 1.16 I didn't I didn't check it before making this but yeah this is a custom uh, door texture it looks a lot cleaner so if you do play this map uh, do not play it in 1.16 play it in 1.15 or 1.14.4 Optifine which is what I played it in and what I built it in and also here, so this is another cool thing, uh, when entering the vent, so originally I r had um, one by two air vents, and then they introduced crawling in 1.13, and I didn't really care about that, but I figured we could have it set so you could crawl through the vents like in the real game. So uh, that's one thing, I went through the entire asylum and updated all the one by two air vents to one by one so you can actually crawl through them and feel like you're playing the game and all that cool stuff. This is a custom stained glass texture I made, just to kind of get the feel of the outlast kind of thing. Also custom priest picture. Boo, that's your jump scare. This was always glitchy. I don't know why. That head texture. But yeah, we're in the library, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, a ton of attention to detail on the interior. I'm really happy. We didn't do this room. There is a room back there, but we didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a ton of attention to detail. Another hidden room back here we didn't furnish. And then here, you get thrown down here. This is the lobby. This is my favorite room in the entire asylum, honestly. It's just so much detail was put into this. It's, it's just my favorite. One thing I, I will mention we did wrong was um, there's two chandeliers. There's one in the front one in the back, but we only did one in the center. Just how we did it. And, yeah. That's cool. And then you have your, uh, your things here. Also, another thing is uh, when you push this button in the game... Uh, like somebody falls through the elevator shaft so I figured that'd be a nice little thing to add you can see a little command block back there and so that what that does it just spawns a villager up there whenever you press that button and the villagers falls down uh, but yeah uh, another thing I'll point out in the admin block is uh, so you have to find the button for this uh, I, I was just playing around so I already found the button and um, it takes you to here and if you push this button it teleports you to the prison now originally when I first built the map I didn't know oh I didn't know where to put that and I didn't know the layout of the asylum so what I did was I just put the prison over here I didn't know that the asylum had like a dedicated layout and that was like in 20 that was like right when the game came out like 2014 when I built that and uh, so no one had really like figured out the layout of the asylum back then uh, oh another thing I want to show you is uh, the basement this is something I always wanted to do for uh, my asylum I'm just gonna break doors because I don't care but I always wanted to have my asylum be like whenever you, you could go around and this switch would turn off all the lights and it's the and you have to also switch these switches so if you turn this off it's gonna turn off because these three other switches down here have to be on in order for this switch to work and I can pop into uh, spectator here if you fly down here you can see I don't know it's it's pretty basic but you see like all three pistons have to be operational for that current to go to all the lights. That's basically how it works. And we'll go back through here. I guess what I'll do is I'll go through uh, main game. So I'll go over here and I'll, we'll TP over to the prison real quick. 
All right, so we're in the cell. And uh, this was fun to build. The hard part was uh, the the courtyard. I want to go back to create a spectator. Courtyard is right above here. And so we had a bunch of glitching issues in terms of uh, what the floor was and what the floor wasn't. And you can see that in some other blocks too. This was a uh, B block. This was originally copied over, but the sign texture didn't copy with it. So that's uh, unfortunate. And then you obviously go through the wall and then you come up here. And you have this. Now I'm, I made some of the other sanitation chambers actually work like sanitation chambers, but the, there are a few that I forgot to update. Hope you don't kill me for that. But yeah, you come up here, and then obviously of the whistler, whistleblower part of the game. So there's a pressure plate there, so because you can pass through there, in the whistleblower part of the game, because you come through here, and then you obviously you hit the switch and you open up this sanitation chamber. See the door is right there. There's got the piston, and you come through here. And you have to go around. I'm just going to break through the door. And then you have to go into D block. D block right here is my favorite block of the entire pr prison and asylum. Uh, it, it's the same as when I first built it uh, in the other asylum. It's just I'm in love with it. I'm love with, in love with how I designed it. It's perfect. And I just love the feel that I get from it. And obviously you get the uh, shower keys down there. And you walk that up here. And uh, you go in through. Also, another thing I want to point out is a uh, more whistleblower section that we'll go through later go back through here uh, blah, blah, blah. You got your entrance to the prison here and then this is this is where you would go if you're a whistleblower but obviously you don't go here because we're not playing whistleblower right now we're going through the main game I got some pictures. I didn't update all the pictures in um, the texture pack I just kind of did what I felt like needed to be so we'll go through here and to the shower. The shower was greatly expanded uh, opposed to my original shower design. And this is because the shape of the building required it. And uh, the shape of the building went out way further than where I originally had the windows uh, for the other one. So that's why you don't like crawl out of the vent. And I mean not crawl out of the vent, uh, crawl out to the window and hang on to the side. Because it's just not like that in the, in the game. I mean not in the game. In real life it just doesn't make sense. And so you come over here, go through here. Got another room over here. I actually forgot to build this room originally in my original asylum. And then obviously in you can either go through here in the game or if you're fast enough or you'll get knocked down. And then you run from the big guy. And you come over here. Uh, normally I'm, I'm pretty sure this hallway is light lit up so I don't know why it isn't lit up here. And then we're in D block and you have to do all the parkour and all that crap. And you end up, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think it's right here. Yep end up right here and then you're down in here and you're in the showers boom boom and then you come in here and uh, you're have to find, uh, you're in the, in the sewers now boom boom sewers were a pain to build originally and I the, the problem with the reason it was so hard to build is I built the entire original first asylum without mods or world edit and so everything that you see so far originally was built one block at a time entirely and I did it on a flat grass map with uh, with it wasn't it wasn't entirely flat grass it had like I don't know like 60 levels of like dirt and stone uh, just below like the grass level and then you would build on top of that so I had, I had to dig out and remove all of this stuff uh, by hand sometimes I use TNT for a few parts but I had to dig it all out by hand and then fill it all in with these uh, sewer drains which took absolutely forever I hated it but I didn't know how to install mods at the time so instead of uh, learn how to install mods, I uh, did that because I was that determined to uh, not learn how. And right here you can see, oh, I think there was supposed to be a note in there. But yeah, there should have been a note in there, but you'll see chests like that around the whole map that contain the little notes and uh, other stuff. i show you around. I'm just flying through the sewers still. And you can go over here. Take the red, red side. I pretty much, I could probably be an Outlast speedrunner. I actually did not own the game when I originally built it. I only bought it on the Switch uh, about a year ago. And yeah, so I could probably be an Outlast speedrunner just because of how memorized I have the game at this point. And you have this room right here. I think this room's a little small. Breadcracker thought it was alright, so we kind of left it as is. And uh, this hallway right here is pretty fun. Mail Ward. Always a little bit short, but you gotta make do with what you gotta do, you know? 
and moving toward the mill ward still. And you go back into the sewers when you think you're finally done with them. Uh, down here. Uh, that water didn't update. That's weird. And then you have the blood room and you have the mill ward basement. And the funny part is this isn't even under the mill ward. We kind of uh, made a few mistakes with that. But that's just a little side note that doesn't really need to be in here. You still end up at the same spot. And then you go in here, you go through here, you would push that out of the way. And then you go through over here, into this room, and then you would take that air vent, but that's slower. I'm just going to go through these doors. Oop. And where we go? I think I go over here, into this vent. I forgot to update this vent to one by one, but whatever. And then they're chasing you down this hallway. You go, oh, no, no. you go around, but I'm going to cut through. And then you jump across this. This normally takes you up to the uh, mill ward uh, lobby, but it wasn't aligned correctly, so we couldn't do that. Normally you'd go up through there and through here. I'm just going to go through the locked door. And then we're in here, and this is the dumb waiter, where you go up and meet the surgeon guy. And we're in the uh, kitchen of the mill ward now, which is awesome. And just like the admin block, all the rooms lead up to one another. And we can take the elevator up. I'm really happy with how the elevators came up. So they're, so they're like stone with bars. And the outer section of it is surrounded by brick. And I really like how that came out. And uh, yeah, you come up here. And you go in here. It was originally like one double door. But the rooms were centered on, on three. So we couldn't do that. So we just kind of did a, a door on either side. Divided by one door in the middle was kind of a shame. I don't know why the beds are glitched. What's up with that? I don't know. And you get your fingers cut off in here. And then you leave. And then you go through everything. I can assure you it's all here. It works just fine. Another thing I really like is the staircases. Staircases line up perfectly with the windows. I love it. Come back down here. And then I just want to show another area. We do have the entire cafeteria on fire and uh, there is the entire sprinkler section too I believe it's over oh, sorry, there is. it's this way yeah it's right here well that's, that's one way in and then yes so this is it uh, over here is the best sprinkler oh not there in here the bathtubs I feel like this part came out really well on the outside. Just kind of vibing in there. But yeah, like, so if you fly out the outside, you can see the rooms inside, which is my goal for this, is to make it look like a real asylum so you can see everything that's going on inside. And we are at the correct location. We're at the male ward, which is to the left of the female ward. And that's the prison right there. And you would exit out here. Then you go in here. You get the key, and you go through there, go at the back, end up on the roof. Bop, bop, bop. And then you end up in here, go across the front of the prison, come down here, run from the big guy, and you end up around here. And then you're at the female ward, and the door is normally locked. Female ward was crazy to build because it's like all deteriorated and abandoned. You're like all these floors are just like taken out, crazy taken out. And uh, yeah, so here's the lobby for this. This was fun to build, I'll tell you what. I really enjoyed uh, just messing around with this. And you got your destroyed, like half destroyed floors. Same with, you know, these wards, rooms over here. Like there was a fire. More beds being broken. I don't know why. What's wrong with them? Come around in here. Uh, yeah, we can go in here. And then you jump down here. This is where you lose your camera, I believe. And then you come out here. Or maybe it's down closer. And uh, then you're over here on one of the floors. Maybe it's the third floor. Yeah, it's the third floor. And you have to run around and come down there. And then you're back here. Boom, boom. And then this hallway takes you right back to the admin block where we started. Which is a lot of fun. Pretty sure there's an air vent in here you're supposed to get into, but I won't bother trying to find it. 
And then you're in the second floor up here. There's a naked guy with a machete standing right there. Or maybe somewhere else. I don't remember. But then you come into this rec room. Because this is blocked, I believe. Yeah, it's blocked. And you come down here. And you're in the, uh, you're in like the rec area of the, uh, of the admin block. And then you go to the movie screen of the cinema or movie theater, whatever you want to call it. Got your projector right there. And then, I, th I forget which way you go out of it though. But we'll just do the most make sense way. And then I think you take these stairs to go up to the chapel a lot of fun and yeah oh else this is cool this is the this is the cafeteria this is the only room where uh like if i were to break this i'm just gonna i don't care just gonna, see it, it doesn't line up with the windows because uh the windows were uh were not at the correct orientation so uh, breadcracker insisted we do it this way for this room so i did not complain uh, but yeah, then you're uh, back here. Which way is the... I know... Which way is the... I'll just walk this. This is where the chapel is. On the third floor, ironically. Surrounded with campfires to make the smoke. It was really hard fitting this in here, I'll be honest with you. But we did our best. We got your uh, little altar. This is from a, a Hidden Areas video. So we put in even the stuff you can't even see in game that is there. Just that little uh, extra, extra thing of detail. And then you go in there. Oh, in the underground lab. I almost forgot. We gotta go to the underground lab. Underground lab was some fun to build, I'll tell you what. And you just come down here. Boom, boom. And we're in the underground lab. I was, this is where I gave up on my first map. I was like, oh, I don't want to dig all of this out by hand. I didn't want to, you know, even though like I knew how to install world edit, I was just done at that point. More custom textures. Really glad how those came out. And here is where you'll start to see more of, uh, you'll start to see the first uh, sanitation chamber that I built. So you could go down there and do that stuff. Actually, I'm going to go check that out real quick. I want to show you that. The reason I use these lamps, and like the sea lanterns, instead of uh, glowstone is because uh, they have a cooler lighting effect on uh, the shaders, which is what I want. I don't know what's going on with that. But they have a, the, the, the lighting effect on them is a lot colder. And you can look through here. That's a cave out there. And normally you would get to here and you would, um, oh yeah, so here's the sanitation chamber. But normally you'd get to here and this would close and you'd have to run away, but we'll just walk through. So you walk through here and then there's a ton of particles, opens up and boom, that's the sanitation chamber. And yeah, I did that with command blocks, actually learned it and all that. And then so here's the cave from here. It turns out that light you see in the game is actually from a construction light, so we had that there. And we didn't really build this as much as we wanted to, but it does come out right near the access road. Right underneath. What this I haven't even read these signs yet. What does this say? Secret bat cave keep out. Unauthorized people will be persecuted. Alright, alright. Uh, but yeah, so let's come over here. Oh yeah, and these are cool, fun little science rooms. We each built one. This is one here. He built this one, I built the other one. And this is uh, Dr. Wernicke's room. Where it's uh, pressurized or something like that. And then we have all these rooms, all these little vents. Also, this is a texture I made. This was, this is uh, orange stained glass, and but I wanted a railing texture, so I made this. Looks kind of weird on the edges, but I kind of like how it came out. And then these are your little fluid tanks come up here also these are iron trap doors but we also had I also took the birch trap door and I put the iron trap door texture on them so that uh, you could open it as like a like a hatch on an air vent you can walk through here we got another air vent the lower part lag there I don't know what's up with that and then more things to jump over I like how the shocker box looks also this is a this I made this texture for the lockers but it looked really good as, as the other doors and we can just pop right down here too. This is where Wayland Park starts, the whistleblower. And these are the servers, custom server texture I made. I think this is, yeah, it's diamond blocks. Really like how that came out. And then we're coming on down to the morphogenic engine. I swear, these were, these were placed differently. It's supposed to look correct, you know? 
And we're in here, boom, boom. I really like how this room came out. I, I'm really happy with how this came out. It looks very good. Uh, looks very good in shaders too. And uh, this isn't supposed to be static. So like if you go in here, I get supposed to be, uh, let me just uh, find a way in without breaking anything. It's supposed to be, uh, let me get a redstone torch. It's supposed to be like a, like this. The lights would flash around like that, like how it kind of flickers in the game a little bit. Come on, let me out of here. That's how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this. There you go. And then you have your uh, the three ways you go. You have this hallway down there, which I built like all the little cells in there too. This is the life support section. I like how these tanks came out look really nice and then you go up there and, blah, 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 blah. and you have to cross here and all this cool stuff it's uh, a lot of detail yeah we can go into game mode spectator here and I'll just fly this up see it's all just built under here so we built everything first and then covered it with our uh, world edit and I really like how it came out so we're back up here you got your female ward here. Everything's connected. Everything's where it should be. And whistleblower starts in here. Also, you can see Mount Massive, which is behind there. That was all World Painter. I did that in there. This is where you start in Whistleblower. I actually didn't m build most of Whistleblower. Breadcracker did most of it. I did go back through and did a lot of detailing, though. And uh, yeah, so this is where you start down here in Whistleblower. That's where you start in here in one of these. Come back. Got the guy hacking at the doctor in there. Not going to bother with that, but I'll just walk through here. Also, the, yeah, the plastic on the walls was glass paint. There's a special glass paint texture I made to uh, look like plastic, and I really like how it came out. Come in here, and you would open this up. Also, when you close it, it makes the, uh, the particle effect. And then you have that whole thing. I don't want to go. Uh, Whistleblower is more or less the, a lot of the same thing. I just want to go into more of the uh, building details. But uh, we also, yeah, we have this entrance here. You never use this entrance in the game to the female ward, but it does lead to the actual lobby and some back hallways. So yeah, attention to the detail there. And then here's the prison you go through. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll walk you through there. Tells you where to go. A block. through here there's a security room with the radio and then you walk through here while being chased by the big guy or maybe that's a different section oh that's you get ch chased by twice by him uh, there you go this way I think it is which way is it I'm way less familiar with whistleblower than I am with the main game oh no I, I'm going I'm backtracking I am very much backtracking Oh yeah, here we go. So this is another staircase, kind of like the other one. Go through here, and here's where we were earlier. Fall down here. Go across the lobby. And now you can go through here to the exit. And then you're jumping over here, running from the big guy. I believe you jump out this window and you're down here. Anything in here? Nothing in there. And then you're in this courtyard and you end up in here. There's two vocational blocks. And I really like how this uh, security tower came out. It looks very good on the inside. I'm really a big fan of it. I built this all block by block by hand because I wanted that little attention to detail to it. And you come up here, so yeah, I'm using more iron trap doors out of the floor. Looks really nice. And then I forget which window you go out of. I think it's... Uh, which window is it? I'm just going to pick one. Ah, oh, there's the wrong one. But yeah, you have these things you, over here. You walk around. 
you jump towards here, you fall to the roof, and then you're in the vocational block. What was it called? Vocational block. Oh, that was that's a hospital over here. This is the vocational block. And then you fall through there. You have your thing with the uh, the groom. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll just kind of walk through here, there, right, real quick. Oop. And yeah, not much to this block to be honest with you. It's very. The game had it very still. Like there's this here's this section right here, where you, you know that happens. And uh, yeah, then that happens. And uh, forget where's the. Honestly, I didn't build this vocational block. I had very little to do with it. This was mostly Brett Cracker. I spent most of my time, like at this point, at this point, he was building a lot of the whistleblower sections, and I was doing a lot of the terrain and putting all the trees down and all that. And uh, yeah, then you go back through here, and into the admin block. I mean, a, a mail ward. Go around through here, take this side entrance, and then you go out the front. But yeah, so that's the entire map, pretty much. That's kind of a showcase. Uh, I will obviously have the uh, video, not the video, I'll have obviously have the uh, link to the download on the Planet Minecraft in the description. And you can also check out the Outlast playlist on my channel. And uh, make sure you subscribe to that because this whole thing was a ton of work and that'd be great. But yeah, so thanks for checking this out.